In 2025, selling AI to local businesses is a no-brainer. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can use High Level to sell AI services to local businesses. And I'm going to show you my three-step process to customize your software in order to sell these services appropriately just using High Level. I'll show you my favorite AI service that you can sell to local businesses and how to set it up properly. And lastly, the best way to structure your offer to make the most and make it easy for customers to start using your services. My name is Andrew and let's dive right in. Okay, let's dive into step one. Step one is our software and service setup. We have to set up our high level in a way that allows us to sell our AI services to local businesses and of course, make sure they know it's not high level. Now, contrary to popular belief, we wanna make sure that we're selling our platform and not high level because high level is designed for marketing agencies, not the plumber down the street, not a pizza shop, not your average local service businesses. It's designed for you and me, marketing agencies and affiliates, not for people that just want to use the features of high level. So delivering your services within your white label and white labeling it the right way is the way to go. Now, right now, or at least when you get started, your high level is going to look something like this. You'll have the standard gray sidebar with the text and the fonts, and then you'll have high levels logo and of course their URL. Now, most of you have probably already changed to be your domain. So app.yourdomain.com instead of app.gohighlevel. And you've probably thrown in your logo, but unfortunately this is just not enough to make sure people know that you are selling your own version that is dedicated for the services that you're providing. So how do we improve this? On the contrary, this is my agency. I have it set up with my logo and my domain, obviously. And of course, it still looks like high level because you have some of the same names, but this is at least way different. And it's gonna make sure that people know that they are getting a tailored experience just for them. And you can brand your agency just like this with SaaS Suite. Now, SaaS Suite.ai is my personal AI app for high level users. You can get access by going to the website, SaaS Suite.ai. And I have tons of videos on that. And if you want access, feel free to leave a comment or reach out to me and I can help hook you up. But once you're in the platform, there's a really cool tool called the branding tool, which allows us to select our brand color. And then once we do, we can generate CSS code. Then we can take this code and plug it into our high level agency. This is the exact tool and the exact same code that I use for my agency to make it look like this, which is really engaging and easy for people to use. You can even use a dark mode, which will make the left sidebar black. And then you can also, of course, use advanced mode, which lets you customize what the sidebar's background is, as well as the brand color for the active sidebar uh, color. And then you can also, of course, change the font family of your agency. So there's lots of cool stuff you can do with that. But the point of this video is not to sell SaaS Suite. It's just to show you that you should have some sort of branding solution so your agency looks like this first. Now, again, we're trying to set up our software and service. So we're selling AI services, which means we don't want to include everything that high level has. And if we look at your standard sub account, you've got everything on the left hand side. Your customers can see absolutely everything, which isn't good. We need to make sure that they can only see the AI tools that we're trying to sell. So how do we do this? Well, one, whenever you go to the sub account level, you can manage the client like this. And then you can go to features and limits. This is where you can turn on or off features for their accounts. Now, the sad part about this is as much as you might think that turning some of these on or off will dictate which ones the user can see, it's not as perfect as you would like it to be. What I like to do is I like to manually remove some of the URLs on that left-hand menu side so that way our customers can only see what we want them to see. As you see right now, we only have CRM on and then we also have the AI employee on for this account. And when we go to this account, we can still see way more than that. So how do we get rid of things like payments and marketing and sites and media stores, things that our customers don't need and they're just going to distract them. Now you can again use SaaS Suite for this, but I'm also gonna show you the code. If we just do pick menu links to remove manually, or we can let AI determine what we're going to remove. So let's say we're going to run an AI agency. So to do this, we're going to use the menu link removal tool in SaaS Suite. And I'm gonna give you the code for this, don't worry. We're just gonna do the menu links to remove manually, and we're just going to select everything except for our AI agents. So we wanna make sure that they can use their AI agents. And what we're going to do is we're going to generate the code for this. And what we're going to do is we're going to select removing all of the features except for our AI agents. And then what we're going to do is we're going to turn on disable for specific sub accounts only. Now, if you have an agency that the only thing you're really selling is the AI agents to everyone, including your own sub account, then you can skip this step. But um, I would recommend putting in the sub account ID for the actual sub account that you're gonna be selling this to. Chances are you're not gonna be onboarding 50 people all at the same time. So as people come in, just make this code manually for them. If you don't know how to get the sub account ID, it is the simple little URL in app.yourdomain.com slash location slash ID. It's gonna be a long string of characters for this demo account. 
we have this ID here. And what we're gonna do is we're going to get the CSS code. And as you can see, this code will remove all of these features. And if you want access to this, just take a look. You can see the different span tags for the different menu links and then the code like this. You don't really have to know what this code is if you're using SAS Suite, but if you're not using it, then that's how you get the code. Then back on the agency level, when we go under settings, we'll go to company, we'll go to white label, and then we will go to custom CSS. I'm just gonna scroll down here and we're going to paste in that code that we just got. Now I'm gonna show you why this is important in just a second. Now check this out. This is our new sub account that we are just delivering our AI service to. And this is perfect because as you can see, they only have AI agents. They also have this onboarding tab, which that's part of the SaaS suite tool that explains people how to use different parts of the platform, but don't worry about that. You can learn more about that at the website. But the point is they can only see AI agents. So now when we set someone up with a sub account that looks like this, they know where to go, they know how to get started, and it is really simple for them to use the exact service that we sold them on. Now that wraps up software and service setup. Let's talk about step two, voice AI testing, and why I use voice AI as my service of choice when I'm delivering an AI offer to local businesses. Why do I do voice AI? Well, reason number one, it's easy to set up and it's easy for everyone to understand. Reason number two, it's easy to sell. When you show people that you can call your phone and then a voice AI picks up, they can be really impressed. And with High Level's brand new AI voices, they sound fantastic. And there's so many cool things I'm gonna show you in this video today. Now, when I say testing, I say this is necessary because you need to make sure you have a demo ready for people to show them exactly what the service does. Like I said, you should set this up for your own phone so that way when someone calls your number, your AI can answer so you can demo this with people live. This is a crucial part of the process. And of course, you shouldn't sell this before you know what you're doing. Now, under the AI Agents tab, we can go to Voice AI, and this is going to be our main service that we're going to sell. We can create our agent. We can create a custom agent like so. And then it's gonna take us to settings and we can go through all of the different steps in order to create our agent. We don't really have to include all that much here. I really wanna just show you what happens when we actually have our agent created. Here is our new agent. It, you will see it is upgraded. This is Voice AI version two. If you don't see this little upgraded tag, by your agent as of September of 2025, when this video is being made, then make sure your agent is upgraded or if this is way longer a year or two later, then maybe they're all upgraded by now. But for now, make sure your agent is upgraded and we're going to go to edit. I'm gonna show you a couple of features that you should enable on your agent that are gonna make this sound really freaking cool. And I'm really gonna only talk about two sections. First is our voices. We have a really big voice library now, like 212 voices as of recording of this, and they all sound really good. You can find a lot of them that sound really conversational, um, and you can also turn on high quality only, and you'll find the 75 best voices, um, and then just pick one that works. You can demo them all from this screen. I'm not gonna do them right now because that would be obnoxious, but they all sound really good. You can filter them by accents, genders, and so much more, but we're just gonna go with Apple. Once you have a voice selected, you can click save voice and you're good to go. Just make sure that you're using your high quality voices and of course one with an accent of the place that you live or the place that you're selling. The second part that I'm gonna show you is our advanced settings. Some of the actually most impactful settings just in this tiny little pop-up window when it comes to distinguishing a good AI agent from a bad AI agent. And let me show you the ones that I like the most. First is this idle time and reminder frequency. This is essentially the AI agent's ability to say, hey, are you still there? Whenever you stop responding. And I'll show you what it looks like live on my agent in a second. Typically this is set to four-ish seconds and I find that to be a good sweet spot. I wouldn't go below three because then the agent might just interrupt people as they're trying to get their thoughts together. And you can also have as many times as they want to do it. We'll do a repeat two times at uh, three seconds for this agency, for this agent just to test out. Second is agent behavior. Now these few response metrics are really impactful to how the agent will talk to you. So this is why I say this entire second step of selling the service is testing. Spend a couple hours, test the agent. There is no one size fits all because each voice will respond differently. So once you find a voice you like, you need to test it again with these different settings, such as the response speed, the interruption sensitivity, and the temperature. Response speed, I like to have moderate, fast, can sometimes interrupt people, which is kind of problematic. Interruption sensitivity, 0.75 is fine. We can also put this a little higher to 0.85, and I find that to be a good sweet spot. And then LLM temperature, if we really want to have one that's really creative and really conversational, we can turn this up a little bit, all the way up to one. I wouldn't do that. I would keep this down lower, closer to like 0 0.2, 0 0.25. And then lastly is our voice settings. This is probably one of the coolest parts, so pay attention. 
First, we have voice speed. We can adjust the speaking speed of the voice. Do not turn this up too much. I have tried it at 2X. It's really funny, but it's not exactly very useful as a business owner. So, I mean, feel free to try it out, but it's not gonna be very useful. So keep this down to like 1.2 is gonna be fine or lower. Sometimes speaking a little bit slower can be good too. Voice temperature, this is how calm versus emotional they are. So if you want them to be really emotional, you can turn it up. I typically like to keep this at very calm or closer to like 8.3. If you have it closer to the calm side, I found that they sound really monotone, but if you set it really emotional, they'll have really big fluctuations in their voice and it can be kind of problematic. And then last is our voice volume. I will turn this up to 145% almost every single time because uh, typically when they start talking, they're a little bit quieter, but it does depend on the voice. So if you pick a voice and it gets way louder, then make sure to turn it down. Lastly, my favorite part of all of this, this is so cool, background sound. A lot of you don't know that this is actually live with voice AI. This is a newer-ish feature and you can actually turn on background sounds for your voice AI agent. So it will sound like they are in a coffee shop or a convention hall or outdoors in the mountain or in the summer or static noise or even a call center. Ironically, the call center is one of my favorite ones uh, because it just is the loudest. So it sounds like they're actually just like in public talking. You don't really hear like calls going off in the background, but it just sounds like they're in a busy office, right? So I think that's kind of the better terminology rather than call center. I would say it sounds more like a busy office. So all of these are super cool. And let me show you my setup with my voice AI. So here's my voice AI agent for sassuite.ai. There's lots of prompting that goes into this, but I really just wanna show you the voice differences and then the advanced settings. So under the call settings, I will typically keep this to uh, five minutes. We have the regular idle time and reminder frequency. Let's go ahead and turn it to two. Let's mess around with this a little bit. The interruption sensitivity, pretty low. Um, we'll set the response speed to moderate. Voice settings, voice speed, I have not changed at all. Voice temperature, I was messing around with this, so I turned it to emotional, and I'm gonna show you guys what that sounds like now. And then we have the voice volume at 100%. Then let's go ahead and set the background as call center. So I will confirm all of this, and then I'm going to go ahead and make a call to my number, and I'm gonna let you hear it right now. But as you can see, if you can do something like that in front of your customers or prospects, you can actually sell them on how good it is because it actually works pretty well, especially if you label them as more of an AI assistant. So I really love that. I just wanted to show you that the new uh, V2 of the voice AI is fantastic. I love it, I use it myself, and I hope you can sell it for your customers. Now, before we finish, let's talk about step three, the most important part of all of this, your offer. Now with our offer, we have a lot of different ways that we can go and a lot of different offers in terms of prospects and niches and avatars and services that you can really nail in on. I'm gonna talk specifically about voice AI, how you can deliver it to people in the easiest way to get them into the platform and then close them and keep them for the longest amount of time. Now when selling a product like this, you want two things. First, you want them to be able to use the product. That's the most important thing. If you sell them and they pay you, it's no use to you if they aren't using the product. The best way to do that is give people a free trial. Often I like to give people a 30 day free trial because high level has offered the same sort of offer. Get them a 30 day free trial, get them into your high level agency, and then say it's 97 a month after that. Now I know that sounds low, but let me tell you how you can actually make more off of your customers ethically as long as the system is actually working for them. What I'm talking about is markups. Now before you go crazy, no, we're not trying to unethically markup our services on immense amounts so where we're making loads of profit whenever people take calls using our voice AI. That's not the point. The point here is that high level already has some of the lowest costs when it comes to conversation and voice AI. And if we can get people into using the platform and the platform is delivering value for them, then the markup that we designate for them is absolutely valid because it's bringing in new customers. If every other time, let's say, someone has a conversation with that voice AI agent, that customer comes in, that can be a significant amount of revenue for a business owner. And if they can't handle those calls, you have no idea how many hours of time it's saving them. These calls might be worth anywhere from five to $10 per call. I mean, think about it. How much do you pay on Facebook for leads? You pay five, 10, 20, I've sometimes paid even close to 50 or $60 when my ads weren't running well, for every single lead. You think a business owner wouldn't pay the same amount for hot leads coming to them on the phone that they they don't even have to handle themselves, that the AI will book automatically, that's an absolute no brainer. Plus, marking up your services, make sure that they're only paying for what they use. So rather than charging them an extensive $1,000 or $2,000 monthly fee when they're not even using the product, you can only charge them whenever they're actually using it. In order to do this, go to your agency level, go to settings, and then scroll down to AI employee. Here is where you can manage your offer by clicking manage your offer in the top right-hand side. When you click this, you can see your two options for AI employee. 
The first one is the subscription amount, which is the way to get people unlimited AI employee. And this costs you $97 a month from high level. This is a good offer, but I found typically most people don't meet the threshold to make this make sense. And I found that usage-based pricing makes way more sense. In the usage-based pricing, you can see that the base cost is a little under 14 cents a minute. It's actually 13 cents a minute. And then your conversation AI cost is two cents per message. Let's talk about this just from the voice AI perspective. 14 cents a minute for a five minute call is like 70 cents. And that is absolutely worth it to a business owner. Feel free to mark this up to anywhere from 1.5 to even as high as three or four X. I believe the max is five, but you'll have to check on that. But at let's say a three X markup, we have 40 cents per minute. And if on average customers are making three to five calls a day or receiving those from customers that the voice AI can handle for them and it's booking appointments that can come out to four to $500 a month of profit for you. And most importantly, each one of those calls can be worth anywhere from 20 to 50 to $100, depending on the industry. Price based on value, not on cost. That is how you're gonna stay ahead of your competition and ethically run a business using high level. And of course, once you set your markup, save at the bottom and you're gonna be good to go. So by this point, you should have an agency that's branded, that allows people to only access the AI agents and build their voice AI agents, or you can build them for them. You've built your offer and now you just need to sell it. So build it on a funnel. We have lots of videos on how to build funnels and market them using high level. AI offers are all the rage in 2025. So if you haven't started an AI offer, drop a comment below, fill out our form on how to use highlevel.com slash contact, book a call and let's talk. I would love to help you out with getting your offer going. As always, my name is Andrew and thank you very much for watching.